Hello all, this is uh, video number 87 from Helping Hands for ECHS. I am Commander Santanam. This video is about how to change data which is printed on your 64 KB card, the card which you are already using it. Let's see two scenarios. Scenario number one, you are using the 64 KB card and you know when you collected it, there is a mistake during the card printing. Some mistake, maybe your name or date of birth or etc. Now, what will you do? Because you can't have the card with the wrong information. Quite simple. If what is printed on the card is different from what is in your application. This is the first action. You launch your application in the ECHS site, sourceinforces.com site. Check that actually what is in the application is not printed. That means the printing mistake it is. Go to your polyclinic, meet the OAC. After they verify that what you are saying is correct, OAC will initiate actions to get a new card for you. See my video, VS20. No payment required to be made. Print a temporary slip. Get it signed and stamped by OAC to avail ECHS services till you get a new card. I hope it's quite clear. This is printing mistake. Scenario number two, you are already using the card, but you still need to change details which is printed on the card. Or in fact, there are certain details you want to add it in the application. That is a card application which you have already submitted earlier to get the card. You want to send certain details there or add new details there. Let's see how it is done. So the scenario is what is printed on the card is same as what is in your application. And you are using the card and you wish to change the details. Please note this action will make your application go for verification by your record office. So if you are changing certain details which the record office where you are, it is there in your records also you must ensure what you are changing in the application now is already in your record so that when they do the verification, both this new application and the record details will match. Then only verification successful will happen. Quite important. Let's see how to do this. Launch login to ECHS.SourceInfosys.com. Click already registered. Enter your mobile number, password, code, verification code, submit. Once you submit it, click OK on the screen, superimpose, click more options, which is here. And block the, click on this block, uh, block cards. Once you click on this, block only that card which where you want to change the details. It could be the primary beneficiary card application where you want to change details or it could be spouse or dependent itself. Okay, whichever is the one, only that you click. In this case, I am taking an example. There is a primary beneficiary name is going to be changed. So I will click on this action. Tick mark will come. This is two important uh, actions. In this drop down menu, when you click on it, you will see change in data. Select that. Don't select anything else. And write the remarks. You can say, I want name change of the primary beneficiary. You can write in the reason here, in this field here or the rectangular box and uh, submit once you submit the card will be blocked go back to this screen and click on change data you are already clicked here now you come back after blocking the card submitting change data you will have the screen this will have two boxes empty boxes below the original boxes where your name is there gender is there etc one is a yellow color box, other one is a green color box. Okay. Let us see the what you want to do. Now, you are want to change only the details which are there. In the original application, there is some detail. Let us take other number. You want to change the other number. You made a mistake there. Or you want to change your bank account number and the complete bank details. They are all green fields. So let us say bank account details you want to change. No problems. Just below that original field, there is a empty box. Fill up that green color only. You are not touching the yellow. 
that is this condition once you do that submit save and submit once you do one after this go to your polyclinic in the kiosk select save data on card option the staff will help you moment you do that new details which you entered here will be updated in the application then the blocked card will be unblocked automatically for use and no payment is required to be made this is only if you are changing green fields or green empty boxes below your original uh, details the next condition or the scenario is you want to change let us say the name primary beneficiary name you want to modify or put a new detail in the yellow box so it could be only yellow box you want to do or you want to do yellow box and some green box details also you want to see both conditions are the same when you do this and save and submit two important things will happen all cards associated with you will also be blocked that means below this in the application there is a spouse details dependent details all their cards will be also blocked and you have to make payment for all the cards which are associated in this application it could be spouse and two dependents you will have to make a payment for four once you do this you know till the car your details new details are verified by record office you can print a temporary slip and get it signed and stamped this ty slip will still have the old data because it's not had been verified once the record office verifies and the verification is successful status will be seen online then you can print a new temporary slip which will have the new details which you entered and get it stamped and signed use the temporary slip till you get the new card which is received you have to make payment and all cards will be blocked two important things let me summarize only green color field whichever primary or dependent card no nothing update the change at polyclinic no payment card gets unblocked yellow or yellow and green both conditions primary beneficiary under that primary beneficiary details you want to change yellow boxes or yellow and green boxes all cards will be blocked payment will be made for all the cards associated with your with the primary beneficiary new cards will be received for all of them and the last case is only spouse or only dependents or spouse and dependents yellow or green only the selected card where you are making the change in the yellow or yellow and green fields only that card will get blocked if you are changing some spouse details where it is yellow or yellow and green only spouse card will get blocked payment to be made only for spouse new card will be received for spouse only reference coechs letter dated 19 january and refer helping hands for echs youtube channels videos on ECHS card. I provide two uh, facilities: my web portal and YouTube channel. Today there are eighty-six videos which have been launched already, which will answer hundred percent of your queries. Name of this, both these are helping hands by ECHS. Google it; it will take you. If you still need help, you can message me in emergency. Give me a call. Taken a lot of trouble. to make these videos don't copy or reproduce please share it with veterans and families i appreciate and thank you very much for your support jai bharat